My name is Aaliyah Rich. Hi, right, my name is Damon. Welcome to Parallel Story. A podcast from Ray Grand Training Center High School in Chicago. This season, our theme is Exploring Chicago. My name is Quentin Hux, and on today's episode, I am here with Imar House. Welcome to the show, Imar. We interview Chicago-based graffiti artist and art educator, Corey Jenkins, a.k.a. JNX. We record at Homey, a co-worker and event space in Homer Park, where Corey painted the art on the kitchen wall. Enjoy the show. Peace. Have a great day. And thank you for listening to the Patio Story Podcast. My name is Quentin Hooks. I'm Eastern Dewison Corey Jenkins. Thank you and welcome to the show. Thank you. I appreciate uh, you having me on the show. So what is your possibility of being an artist? My possibility of being an artist? Yes. I think uh, the possibilities are endless. I've been an artist my whole life. I've been a graffiti artist for the past 21 years, and I plan on being an artist for the rest of my days. Not just visual art, but musically, you name it. If it's creative, I want, I want to be a part of it. What type of painting pictures do you make? All types of pictures and paintings. I'm primarily focused on graffiti, something that's been in my background for a long time. But outside of that, the mural work that I like to do is just to be expressive freely. I really enjoy painting space and galaxy themes because galaxy is basically infinite, right? We're all a part of this this world, but then there's so much that happens outside of what we do in this world. And I think that for me as like a teaching artist, because I do that outside of what I do with my business, I like to help people to think outside of the box, really think outside of whatever people say your limitations are, right? So painting galaxies helps me to help others expand their thought processes. It helps me to do the same. And you was talking about galaxies or something like that? Yes, sir. Galaxies. So space themes, themes of like being limitless, having infinite potential, right? Because the galaxy goes on forever. I feel like that about the process of creativity, whether that's making music, whether that's making art, whether that's dance, whether that's spoken word, whether it's whatever it is that you use, whatever vehicle you use to creatively express yourself, you can only go as far as you allow your mind to take you. And I think that painting galaxies helps me to think further and further outside of the box when there are so many people that like, in these days and times, see something on social media and then try to replicate that opposed to creating their own style and doing their own things for themselves, you know? How did you come up with these designs? They come from my mind. Mentally, you know, you close your eyes, you think about an idea, and then you just expound on it. And I think that it took years and years of repetition for me to develop a style. And it's something that I first and foremost love to do. So I enjoy coming up with the different ideas that I have. How did you make that design on the kitchen wall? Oh, of homie? Well, first and foremost, thank Aaron and Mariah Cobb for giving me the opportunity to paint a mural in their space. But it was basically, they said, here's a blank canvas. Go right ahead and make it happen. So I was excited about that, being able to just take what I see in my mind and translate that to a blank space. That's good. What's your favorite thing about doing paintings and drawings? I'm an introvert naturally so i like to get away from everything and get away from people and get into my own head while i'm doing art or i'm doing music or i'm being creative being able to go into a place that nobody else can really relate to nobody can see nobody understands but me until i get it out there into the world is what i really love about art you know somebody can see what i painted or watch me in the process and say where is that going what were you thinking there i know where i'm going because i'm already in there i'm living it and being a living embodiment of it while painting or while creating is the most pleasing to me, you know? How old were you when you start working on art? How old was I when I started working on art? Yes. Probably as far back as I can remember, maybe three or four, maybe even younger than that. I know that I was very competitive with my older sister. She could draw all the time. You know who the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are? 
Um, that might be two. Who knows Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? She got a couple more. Right? Okay. We know this. So she used to draw, and she had a friend draw a Ninja Turtle for me. And oh, I said, okay. I, I could draw a Ninja Turtle. And it just kind of took off from there. Ninja Turtles kind of helped my art take shape, right? After that, I wanted to draw everything. So I spent a lot of time to myself drawing and sketching. So did you draw Mikey or? Oh, so you're asking who my favorite is. Yeah. Well, Mike's cool, but uh, I see these purple after school matter shirts. Purple is one of my favorite colors. I was a Donatello fan because he was a nerd. He was a geek. He thought a little bit out the box. And back in the days, I was training uh, martial arts as well. Uh -huh. And one of my favorite weapons was the bow. So I spent oh, a lot of time. Oh. Yeah, I spent a lot of time working with that uh, while I was learning a discipline. Do art relaxes you all the time? Uh, sometimes it can be frustrating, but for the most part, it's very relaxing, especially as I get more and more deep into the creative process. But like anything, there are times where it's not flowing the best, or there are times where things that are happening outside of what I'm doing artistically that adds stress and frustration to the art that I'm creating. But I think that having art as a vehicle, no matter what I'm doing creatively, helps me to go through that frustration, go through that anxiety, and turn it into something positive, into something pure. I'll be able to convey those emotions in the piece of work that I'm working on at the time. Did you design like cars or anything like that? I haven't designed cars yet, but I grew up drawing cars. I used to get those how to draw books. Uh -huh. And part of what I would do is recreate the, the car that, it, that they wanted me to draw and uh -huh. then draw my designs on the side of them through oh, my graffiti cool. pieces. So one of my bucket list things that I want to do before I kick the bucket is to paint some graffiti on a car, oh. pre preferably a Tesla. Was art your favorite thing when you was a kid? Hmm. I think when I was a kid, my favorite thing to do was play video games. <laughs> That's but, for us too. But video games always sparked an idea for me to sit down and draw something. So if I was playing Mike Tyson Punch Out, which I still know the code to get straight to Mike Tyson from when I was five years old, I would sit down after playing hours of that game and go draw Mike Tyson or go draw Street Fighter 2 or go draw uh, Super Mario Brothers, all the games that I played growing up. Is there anywhere in Chicago we can look at your painting? Well, you can definitely look in the kitchen at homie. Whoop, whoop. Uh, but, <laughs> but there's art uh, all, all over the city. There's one on 93rd and Chappelle. There's a very big mural. There's one on 74th and Woodline. And a couple of different spots all over the city. Lacuna Lofts is one. I have art, I have art over there. And just kind of anywhere, you know, my art takes me on a journey. I've done work all over the country and internationally now too. So I'm just excited to continue to have the opportunity to, to paint and use this blessing that God gave me to do great things with. Do you have a website? Sure do. You can catch me at JNX, J-A-Y-I-N-E-X.com or you can go to my Instagram at JNX and check out some of my work there as well. Um, what's your plans in the future? My plans in the future? is to stay on course and try to best what I'm already doing. My plans and my goals is to set bigger goals and better goals and continue to try to reach for those every day. Because as long as you got life in you, you got breath in you, you should be trying to be a better version of you every day. Anything else you want to say, sir? Uh, I just want to say thanks again for this opportunity. I appreciate what you guys are doing over at Power Your Story. And I really, I'm really excited that uh, I was able to be a part of this interview process. So thanks again. Power Your Story podcast is produced by students at Ray Grant Training Center High School in Chicago with the production support of After School Matters and the creative Imposter Studios. You can find our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, Google Podcasts, on the web at PowerYourStoryPodcast.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube as Power Your Story Podcast. Today's episode was produced by Quentin Iman. Our theme music is by General Jackson, a.k.a. DJ Sparks. Follow us, subscribe, leave a review or comment and share our show with your friends. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.